called the pharmacy today and they said that they had the refill and they were filling it and they were going to deliver it. So I'm just waiting for it to get here. Meanwhile, my e-cig is being really weird. I hit the button and random things happen. L lately, like I hit the button and it doesn't even do anything for a few seconds. Um, yesterday I shut it off, I took the tank off, I turned it back on, reset the atomizer, and it helped for a while. And now it's starting to act up again. I did it a few hours ago. I reset it again. Turned it off. Took the tank off. And, and it didn't change anything. Let's see if we can figure out what it's going to do. It's not hitting. It's not even coming on. It's not coming on not doing anything. This sucks. There it goes. For a while it was doing random things. It would randomly lock when I would hit the button. It would go to the menu when I would hit the button and not hit. Now it like doesn't even want to come on. I have no idea what's going on. Now it's okay. It's so weird. I have no idea what's wrong with this thing. Did you see how long it took to come on and hit this thing? When you hit the button and it starts hitting, it's supposed to light up. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Something is definitely wrong with it, though. I need to get back to Mount Vernon so my my dude can look at it. It gets fairly nice in here at night. But it's getting hot in here again. Like, it's already starting to be hot in here. Like, yeah... So that's good fun. I'm so tired because I wasn't able to take my meds last night because I'm out. I'm waiting for the refill to fill and I'm waiting for it to get here. But I'm still probably not going to take my meds until tonight because it'll knock me out and I'm trying desperately to avoid sleeping during the day. I'm trying to stay on a schedule where I sleep at night, and it's proving to be very difficult. Stevig's log. Hey, everybody. It's July 8th at, like, I don't know, 7 in the morning, something like that. Okay, so, my meds finally came yesterday. I have a whole new supply of meds. Yay! Um... So basically, I'm stuck in this situation, and it's kind of stressing me out, making me very anxious. Um, I am supposed to start back to work at IGA, not this Friday, but next Friday. And so far, I have no idea how I'm going to move or where I'm going to move to. On top of that, my e-cig is dead. It doesn't work at all. Something wrong with the button. So that sucks. So that just compiles so much more stress onto the stress that I already have. Stress that, like, if it was just that, like, I'd just give it to God and let him handle it. But, like, now I can't even vape. These are trying times, my friends. Alright, you guys have a good one. Stevig's log. Hey everybody, it is July 9th and it is 12.41 p.m. Yay, I'm back on my meds and I feel a lot better. Except for the fact that yesterday there were hours that 
like, I have no memory of. Apparently I was up awake and doing things. I just have no memory of, like, that period of time, what I was doing. It's really weird. I haven't had anything like that happen in a long time. Um, but I have a therapist appointment at four, so maybe we can, I don't know. I have a lot of things to talk to a therapist about. But anyway, so I have been watching videos on YouTube. Um, I've been watching videos on YouTube because, like, I don't know, I'm just, like, I, I, over the years I look out there and I see all these people, oh, I had this dream and God showed me what's coming and, you know, just all this prophetic, like, I tend to not buy it. I've always been skeptical of it, but, like, I've been watching through videos on YouTube um, where people talk about prophetic dreams, and it's interesting, because a lot of these people are saying the same kinds of things. They're saying that by the end of the year, like, the United States will be destroyed, uh, either by the Russians, by the Chinese, or both. Um, several people have mentioned that New York City will be destroyed by a nuclear bomb, some kind of nuclear weapon. The West Coast will be destroyed by something else. And, I mean, I suppose it's possible. Um, I don't know whether or not I completely, 100%, like, think that it's real, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, um, but everybody was basically like, everybody needs to be warned, uh, get right with God, which is true, we do need to get right with God, and just, and, and, and I've been saying that destruction is coming, for a while. Is this how it's going to come? I don't know. So, everybody stay on your toes and please get right with God. Destruction is coming. I don't know how it's coming or when it's coming. Jesus loves you. He wants to save you, but he wants you to repent. You can't be who you are sin and be right with Jesus. Grace and peace to you.